Hello everyone and welcome back. Today I'm going to be reviewing the Revolution and Bratz collaboration. I'm really really excited about this one because I used to love Bratz dolls as a kid. Like I used to love playing with Bratz dolls and just living my best life really. Um, I loved them all. Um, like out of the main gals, I think my, I'm sure my favourite one was Jade. Um, and then I loved Roxy, but I loved all of them. Although Jade was my favourite, while I was looking at some of them, like I already opened the box because there was a big massive bit of tape. So I just wanted to make sure that nothing was missing. And also I am so sorry for like not posting for two weeks. Like this week, the past two weeks have been so overwhelming to say the least, which I'm actually gonna make, I'll just make a different video about that because I don't wanna like, take up too much of this video. I have already done my foundation. Um, my mis uh, my concealer has just randomly disappeared um, or been taken, I don't know. Um, it's just disappeared or whatever. And I just had to do foundation. It's not really what I would want to do, but you know, it's all I can do for now. Cause I did buy a new one and I haven't used it since the last makeup video. Um, because I did do one for going out, but then I forgot to vlog while I was out, so then it was a bit of a disaster. But yeah, so although Jade was my favourite, I asked people in my family and like friends like what palette they think maybe be more better for my like skin tone. Um, and they were saying probably Chloe. So I got the Chloe palette, like how cute is this? Like I love the packaging. Oh my gosh, there's sellotape, right? I will take them out, the sellotape packaging, soon. So I got the eyeshadow palette. Oh, okay, there's that. Um, I got the Bratz mascara because I just wanted to see how that was going to be. I got the Maxi Plump lip gloss and obviously Chloe's shade. And I also got Chloe's lip liner to go with that. And of course I had to get the iconic like eye pencils and Chloe's is the blue one, which I'm quite excited about. Although, see, this is the thing though. Chloe has blue eyes. I have brown eyes. And this is why I was like, I would maybe go for Jade because plus Jade was my favorite, but the color palette of the Jade, of Jade's one, apparently people said I might not suit it, but I'm still gonna buy that one anyway, not gonna lie. So I'm just gonna take these out. Oh my gosh, these are so cute. So the purple one is Yasmin's. I don't know if you can see it. The blue one is Chloe's. And this one is Sasha's. Why does um Jade not have one in this packet? Is it maybe because she just does like a sleek black? I'm sure she just does a sleek like black eyeliner maybe and that's why oh no wait there is another one no i tell a lie jade's is this lovely purple color here kind of well it's kind of purple but kind of not i don't know if it says the color but these are so cute like those are all of the colors so i got those these are always so difficult to get into I don't want to rip the packaging. But as soon as I saw that they had done a collaboration, I was so buzzing. So is this... What, what did I just take out? Oh, it's the lip crayon wall. This is quite chunky for a lip crayon. Oh, whoa. That is pretty cool. Yeah, no, just double checking because I was like, whoa, that's quite thick to be one. And then... Oh, more sellotape. Hold on. And this is the mascara, like this is chunky too, but I love it. Oh my God, my small child self is like freaking out right now. And I feel like that probably didn't make much sense. Um, I have had a really hard time just talking lately. Like my words come out all gibberish or they come out back to front. Whoa, like look how chunky this is too. Like how... How much do you get in this? Does it say 0 0.28 fluid ounces? I feel like that's a lot. That's like a lot in comparison to like, here, I'm gonna compare. I know that I'm like, 
although we don't stand this guy anymore but for like this lip gloss in comparison actually that's too small i'm like completely blind i cannot see what that says and last but not least i really should have taken all the cellophane off at the same time totally missed that part there but yeah it's good to be filming though it's so weird like filming a makeup video but i really wanted to film um another one because it's been a while and obviously i tried to do like a get ready with me before i go out for the first time after lockdown but as i said i kind of flopped on that one um i do currently have a vlog in the process um which you'll find out what that is about soon um hopefully it's kind of like an ongoing thing because i have to wait for some stuff so but yes i think i might make a separate video as to why i've not been like I don't know. Oh my god. Here we go. So cute. Oh my god. Ugh. Can't get it out. Oh, am I going to have to undo this bit? Okay, never mind. That was like probably the easiest way. I just opened the top instead of the bottom. Oh my god. Like, look how cute this is. <laughs> oh my god. We love her. Um, obviously just stopping to take some thumbnails. Well, potential thumbnails, you know whoa like this is so cute oh my god look chloe the girls with a passion for fashion it says her name and then it says the girls with a passion for fashion i just oh my god i actually really want to go back and just like watch like the cartoon of that okay but i love how this works like look at the mirror yes i, ha I have a new ring light now they're supposed to be like double lighting but because of the way that this is set up at the moment my other ring light's kind of like at an angle so it's probably not hitting me as much oh my gosh oh no there's like some fallout from somewhere so oh my god i love that the first one's called monologue <gasps> oh yeah by the way guys sorry and yeah i am in my pajama bottoms because i just wanted to be comfy today because i've been i had was out yesterday so i was like i'll just wear a top and like pajamas like that's fine <laughs> Chloe from Bratz would not do that, so you know. <laughs> but um, you if you've been a fan, like not a fan, but like if you've been watching this channel for a while, you'll know that I've been trying to be an actor, and I was um in a series called Cavendish, and it was like I was filming at the start of the year. Um, well, the first look just came out on um Maddie, who's also. A cast member's instagram because she also created it and well it just felt so surreal to like see it like because you know when you're like if you under if you're like another actor or like you work behind the scenes on sets and stuff like you'll know what it's like you'll see all the behind the scenes but actually seeing it come to life on like a tv or whatever it's just a bit surreal but it's so exciting i'll pop the link down um or i'll even just link you to my instagram and then you can go from there to find it because i don't know if maddie would want me to just like share her instagram around um oh my god like there's this really cool purple it's called drama mama we have crush glitz angel obviously half pipe express it but like express it sleepover flaunt it Spaced out, advice, class president, biker babe, pillow fight, prince charming, eth ethereal, oh my god, I can't say that, feathers, and overreact. I wondered if those ones were highlights, like highlighters, or if they were just um, eyeshadows. Because it just says eyeshadow palette, like it doesn't say eye and face, if you know what I mean. Um, I just accidentally stabbed that one. So I'm going to make a look with these. I just, I don't know because I obviously want to use like the eyeliner, but then I don't want to like do something and it just doesn't go. I've done that a lot where like I've kind of thought it might be cute and then I'm like I don't actually know if that went right well but you know it's all trial and error we'll see how it goes because I mean purples and stuff go together like purples well maybe like pink and blue or purple and blue okay so 
oh no, just wrecking the place once again. So I'm going to, I managed to like, is I have like a bunch of boxes. So I have like a bunch of boxes holding this um, phone stand. Cause like the little desktop one, cause I got it with the other ring light. And then my other ring lights are there and then the mirrors behind it. So then I, you can like still see me okay. I've gone back to using a sponge for now just because this foundation can kind of go a bit orangey so I was like calm it down although I caught some of the sun yesterday so I don't know like it might be okay I'll just use this a little bit just to kind of get some of it and then oh god I actually cannot get into that bit with the brush okay my eye looks really white I'm really excited though because I feel like it's going to be so cute on. I also saw that Makeup Revolution Makeup Revolution have a Marie collection and obviously if you know me if you saw my like my Christmas video I got a giant Marie and yeah I just love Marie. I'm not even like please don't cancel me but I'm not 100% a cat person um but i like marie but i've gotten better with cats it's only because at one point i had a friend who had a cat and their cat jumped at me for no reason and it gave me such a fright that i kind of was scared of cats for a for a while um but i've been trying to get better with cats it's more of like a oh no um that cat done that and it was kind of like a fear of cats um, and then I got over my fear of cats because I used to love cats because my other friend, like my best friend from like school, she had a cat and I liked her cat, but her cat also was a bit, mm, I don't, she just couldn't be bothered with people. So it was okay. Like it was quite chill. I wasn't like offended that her cat didn't like me. But yeah, I'm going to try and do this at the same time because I always need to remember to try and multitask and I'm going to use this mirror too. So I'm going in with Space Dye, which is obviously just like a neutral colour, just like over the lid. Like, I feel like I'm going to use this palette a lot. Like I actually do have to go out again. Um, Well, before I go out for my friend from work's birthday drinks, I'm going to my mum's aunt's birthday. Um which was a surprise and now it kind of there's some stuff some stuff happened and now it's kind of not a surprise anymore and it's a shame but i'll probably i feel like i'll probably use this palette again i really want to use that monologue color although i feel like it's kind of shimmery i don't feel like that's what i, I want to go for a part of me really wants to go for like the pink because i know that she would use the eyeliner like the blue liner or wait should i do like the wee purple and like some of the purples and then put the blue, like the shimmery blue here, like over the lid and then do the eyeliner like under here. But I don't feel, I don't know if Chloe does that. I know that she has like blue lids most of the time because like blue is her colour, but should we just try something different? Like what if this goes wrong though? <sighs> this always stresses me out. Okay, you know what? I'm going in with monologue and I'm going in. Okay, well, that's a really, really, really light purple. But that is actually kind of what I was hoping it was. I, hope it, I was hoping it wasn't going to be too bright, although there is a little bit of shimmer in there already. Okay, so we've got monologue. Obviously, I had to pick monologue at the on the top lid. And obviously, as I usually say in my makeup videos, I usually just do makeup videos for fun. I'm in absolutely no way a makeup artist. Like, I'm not very good at makeup at all. Um, I kind of want to use advice. Can I just put it in here? Oh, that's cute. It's still quite a light colour also, but it's a bit darker than the other one. Well, this is like a really, really light colour. Um, I wonder if I should go in with the pink just kind of under or kind of like... 
you know what i'm just gonna do it fudge it fudge it fudge it oh i don't know if because i was still so it's a really cool color oh whoa okay i'm just gonna like sorry if you can hear my sister i did tell her i was filming i just kind of put that over the purple and like blended it in and it's so nice i'm vibing with that oh my gosh no that is like so cute sorry like i know my eyebrow my eyebrows my eyelids are really really hooded so like it kind of becomes an issue where i'm like trying to show people what i'm doing and then it's like no and i'm like stop <laughs> Okay, yeah, you know what? I'm going to go in with Angel. I don't know, though, if it's going to be the type where you need to wet it first. Because, you know, you can get eyeshadows that are like that. Do you know what? I might just put it on my arm first. Hmm. So I put it on the brush on my wrist, if you can see it. And it's actually quite nice. So I'm just going to go in with this. I really should have used another brush for this. Because it's kind of just gone all over it. Do you see what I mean? It kind of like went all over it. I really needed to use a different brush for that. I mean, there's no point in using a different brush for it now. see that's what I was originally trying to do and then it kind of just went scoobadoosh kind of like some kung fu panda there for you my dad's obsessed with kung fu panda it's actually really cute right I'm gonna go back in with that wee pinky color just like over this with the purple just so that it kind of brings it back out Look at me sounding like I know what I'm talking about. Because then it doesn't look like it's completely just swallowed the whole eyeshadow at all. Oh my god, I have some of it in my eye. They didn't usually wear highlighter. Highlighter wasn't usually a thing then. But I might just wear highlighter anyway. Okay. See, like, I feel like these should be highlighters. They also look really good. I might just try it. I don't know, is it just, because on the website it just said, it just says eyeshadow palette, it doesn't say, but I kind of just want to use those, where's, I need a smaller brush, let me use this one, it's not really small, but I might just use this one for like, here. Okay, maybe not. You know what? I'll just stick to my normal highlighter. We're all good. Just doing the safe side. So, we love this by Beauty Bay highlighter palette. It's usually like my go to. I've got some extra freckles from being in the sun as well. So, it's like, it's kind of cute. I love freckles though. My sister Lucy has um, some freckles and it's so cute. Okay, sorry, just obviously have to fix the hair. I actually quite like this, it's quite cute. I don't know why I put that away because I need this for the eyeliner. Not finished, I forgot. Right, this is the only scary part because I'm awful at eyeliner. Oh God, I I'm trying. See, because it's like a pencil, I'm trying to like, I might need to place this at an angle and go from there or just hold this like this oh. right I have to fix this because I completely like done the whole part like it I mean it's okay I think And then I've done like a little flick from the bottom, which, oh, it's actually cute though. That was an accident where it like went under there. Like, you know, we can make it work. Though. Okay, 
and now I can't seem to make the same mistake on the other side. Oh my god, that is actually really cute. Although I feel like this one's a wee bit higher. So I'll... A bit more. Oh my god, I actually really love that. I'm not even gonna lie, right? Spray time. Whoa, that didn't even spray at me. It smells so good, although we don't like that person anymore. I, I hate doing that because my wrist always makes like this really cr crack at like clicking sound. That's the word, not crackling sound. Cricket. Crick. What? I don't know. I've completely lost it. Lost the will to speak English, apparently. I'm actually living for this. I would never usually do something like this, so thanks, Chloe, for the help. It's in the brat stall. <laughs> right. Okay. Sorry, I used a wipe to, like, get my hands all thingy. Right. Mascara time. Okay. Oh my god, I'm actually living for this. This is like a new vibe. I'm actually living for doing it from the the bottom lash to do a flick rather than the top. And yes, I no longer have a nose piercing and have a permanent hole in my nose. <laughs> okay, I'm actually so proud of myself. So as but I am. Whoa, like that is one chunky brush. What the frick? I think this is my new favourite mascara. Like, hello there. I went from looking bald to like having like a full eyelash of like extensions or something. Oh my god, I love this mascara so much. I'm actually so glad I purchased it. Like, hey, like, what? <laughs> oh my god, I live for that. Although I just noticed because it was still wet that it was going to leak on my face. Well, not leak on my face, but you know what I mean. Okay. <laughs> oh my god, what is this video? It's going to smudge my face. Like, okay. So now I'm going to go in with. Just casually me dropping everything every five seconds. <laughs> I'm gonna go in with a lip liner. Oh my god, that was smooth for me. I don't know if I even saw because I think I had the mirror in the middle of the screen. I love this. It's so smooth. Like, did you just what? what the frick just happened i haven't filled them in completely there's like obviously the like it's just a little bit filled in now i'm going in with this bad boy oh my god i'm actually like obsessed with this so much would you please stop making my face wet oh no i got that everywhere but oh my god Okay, I'm so excited. And I just have like a lovely nice spot coming out on my chin. We love that. Oh, it's one of those ones that makes your lips tingle. <laughs> ah. So there you go. my chloe from the brats collection look that probably made no sense but oh my god okay so last thoughts i love the eyeshadow palette i think it makes sense for some of them to be like really really light because brats were back like they were from like 2000s era so around then we didn't have like obviously 
makeup hadn't progressed from then so like it makes so much sense to have like the really really light colors as well but they applied so nicely and they you could just work it again like they were really buildable um and like how cute is this yeah this is where i accidentally like put my nail in please just don't look at that um like it's just so cute and like the front packaging like i just really want to get all of it now to be honest okay so i rate the mascara like a 10 out of 10 the eyeshadow palette is also i would maybe say the eyeshadow palette's like a 9 out of 10 um there wasn't really any reason why it wasn't a 10 out of 10 i just feel like it was more on the 9 um but the mascara was a 10 out of 10 like i went from looking like a 40 year old man who's got receding hairline on the lashes area to like ha looking like i'd had a hair transplant you know so we are living for this like oh my god please do not discontinue this this is like I love this so much, so much. Um, oh, um, eyeliners. Really, really good. I can't find the blue one. Oh, it's over here. I must have muted it over there. But the blue one, I really, really like them. They're like so smooth and creamy and like so easy to work with, which I find really difficult with like pencil ones and um, that aren't like liquid. Although I haven't done eyeliner in a while. So this was really, really good for me, who's like a noob at eyeliner again. Like I used to wear eyeliner all the time. And now I'm just like, no, like it just doesn't happen anymore. So this was so easy to use for someone who's like not used eyeliner in a while. And it's so bright and vibrant, which is so good in like the Bratz kind of style. So I feel like they definitely have the Bratz thing really, really down okay so this is about a 12 out of 10 <laughs> like this just made my life so much easier because if you've watched my other videos like see when I try to line my lips like I always sort of like mess it up where this was thick enough that it like chunky enough and just with it being like this rather than being like extra extra thin it was actually so easy to put on and I didn't actually mess it up like it went on so nicely and it was so creamy too and I feel like it's going to be like really really moisturizing as well which you want because see when you have like lip liners that are really dry it's a bit of a no-go and oh my god I love this I always forget that plumping lip glosses make your lips tingle to kind of give them like a like fuller look um but i love this it went on so well and it's like so glossy yeah please excuse this little spot here we should give her a name soon once she's appeared um but yeah no i absolutely love this collection so much and i'm so glad that i actually bought some of it because like this is some of the best stuff that i've actually used and i'm actually not mad at how this turned out like it's so cute I'm actually so happy with it like it's just so good because like there's so many times where I've done like reviews on things and it's kind of gone a bit wrong and even though that went wrong it was like a not a bad wrong like it actually worked so I highly recommend this collection if you're a brat stan and like have loved brats from like and like an OG brats fan or even if you're like a new brats fan because I know they brought them back again um 100% get this collection like I absolutely adore this collection and I'm gonna be using it much more often like this whole color scheme is so cute so since you've heard me say that I love it as much times as I possibly can <laughs> I'm gonna go now and I hope you guys enjoyed this video thank you so much if you stayed to the end it means so much to me um but yes thank you guys so much for watching and if you're new don't forget to subscribe I'll see you guys later Bye.